Hello guys, in this video we will learn how we can create a ping pong game using a scratch. So a scratch is a platform where you can create the games without coding knowledge. We just need to use your block coding. Okay, so let me just show you how we can do that. So we just need to open first a scratch.mit.edu website. Open this and then we need to click on that create. We just need to delete this and now click on that uh, sprite. Click on search and we just need to search your ball that ball just use this and now we need to set the backdrop so click on that here in the right side you will find the choose the backdrop backdrop search this option and we just need to select one backdrop so i will just select this concern this one here like this now we need to move that ball so whenever i select that move tennis tab this component and whenever i click on that so you see, you'll see the tan step is moving this one see now what i need to do i need to move that forever so how we can do that so do that we need to use your forever block so in the left side you'll find the control and you will see the forever this one block drag and drop that block here now we need to click on events and when someone click on that flag so our game will start and this ball move forever so click on that flag and see the ball is moving now we need to bounce back that ball because that one reached the edge. So in the left side you will find the motion. So you'll find in the motion you option if on the edge bounce. So we just need to call it here. Okay. Let's click on that green. Okay. And let's see how it's work. Moving and see if the if on the edge then this one is bouncing. In the left side you'll find option the motion is point in direction. This one. We need to call it here. And you see the option is 90 so click on select 90 and we have to move this ball a little bit 45 degree so in that angle you'll find let's stop this and let's search this see 45 angle is fine it's really perfect cool and this will this ball will move forever now what i need to do i need to use one paddle here so stop this and click on that it's spread again and just search your paddle select that paddle and move that paddle in the bottom move that ball here move that paddle here now we have to move that paddle left and right side so i will use your mouse my mouse cursor to move that paddle so how we can do that so you will find here set x to 3 see that one so select that so whenever i just check click on that so this paddle value x will be set as a 3 if i just move my paddle here and i will just select that this one to set that x value to 3 so click on that see this will automatically set to the 3 now what i need to do i will set that value in my mouse pointer direction so to do that you will find here the option of mouse point so go to the sensor option sensing sorry and you will see the mouse x just drag and drop it here now click on that events and check that but we need to move that mouse po pointer or that we need to move that paddle forever so we need to use again forever block see that one and call it here like this now click on green and let's move that paddle with your mouse cursor like see it's moving we need to quote for whenever we whenever our ball touch the paddle so we have to move our ball so stop this click on that ball now click on the sensing option and you will see here touching that mouse pointer so select this to paddle so whenever a ball touch with the paddle so we need to use your if as condition right so click on control and you will see the if if and then the if the touching paddle if the, our ball is touching the paddle okay because what we have done we have selected that ball component that's why we can say if the ball because we have selected that component if the ball touching the paddle then we have to move that ball so go to the here option of motion and you will find turn to the 15 degree this one so select this one now what i need to do i need to set that turn to the 180 degree to this ball may, ball will move to the just opposite direction but what i can do here i can use your random value also so click on operator and you will see the pick random so select that and just set here the 160 to the 180 value okay 160 to the 180 value and just call it here now 
we need to use here one more thing is we need to use forever blog again okay because when i use the forever blog so this will automatically check that the pick random degree and this will automatically move to the opposite direction or the in the pick random direction then a random degree so how we can do that we just need to use a forever blog again control and you will see the forever just use it here and click on the events and whenever we click on the green green flag so let's click on the green flag and use the your paddle see it's working fine like this cool now what i need to do whenever the ball touch with the anything see if the ball touch with the edge it's moving again we have to make our game over and we have to set the score also so first we will set the game over then we will set our game score so move that to the stop that game and we will use here one more it's a uh, spit click on search and we will use here one line okay just search line we'll use that line and use this line here in the bottom like this so whenever the ball touch that this one component line okay so we will stop our whole game so select that ball component okay and if you just need to go to the sensing again for okay touching that if the ball touching the line so we need to use again the if else condition this one if the ball touching the line okay then we need to stop all so you will see the stop all component here and again we need to just click on events and call it here like this see this one okay and this is for ball okay now another thing what i can do here i can do one more thing i can set the score also so if i you will find your left side variable option click on variable and make a variable and my variable name is score and okay see now whenever the ball touch with the green okay green paddle okay that one paddle so we will increase score by one so you'll find the my score variable to the one okay by one see change variable by one so we will call this here but where we can call we can call this whenever the ball touch with the paddle so you see tall ball touching with the paddle then we will increase our variable score value by one okay now just green this and let's see ball touch with the paddle score is one then ball touch with the paddle screen is two score is two sorry see now whenever the ball touch with the green paddle so oh it's not game over see not so why it's not working because we have to use again forever block okay so go to the here and you will find a forever block and use that block here like this let's ring and let's try the score is working and let's try to check yes it stopped but what I, what happened here when i start the game but the score is still four so what i need to do whenever i start game so i need to set that variable okay so see the variable option is variable set my variable value okay variable value to score to zero whenever i start the game so click on start variable value is zero i can play that game it start and whenever the ball touch with the red it's stopped cool so that's the overall game we have created you can do a lot more thing with this game so if you need any help on that so just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your problem i will publish that game and you can use that code also okay so thank you so much for watching this video i will check change that game name to ping pong ball game the coding bus okay and i will share that so thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.